Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I used this wagon wheel and reclaimed it as a circular shelf for the wall in my house. I'm pretty sure you could use this tutorial for any reclaimed circular object you can find to have a fun, unique piece for your home. On my wheel, all the inner rungs were just attached by some wires wrapped around the outer wheel, so I just used wire clippers and clipped those off to remove the wood, and as you can see, it was all pretty rotten and unusable. As usual, I have my little minions running around, and um, I just wanted to say no minion was injured in the making of this wheel shelf. So did I. Here I'm just giving my wheel a quick bath with um, dish soap and water just to wash off the crusties and dirt and all the other stuff it picked up over the years of being outside. I started out by getting a rough measurement of about where I wanted my shelves to be and then I cut them a little longer than what I think I would need them just to make them a little easier to work with in future steps. To make it a lot easier to mark where I wanted my shelves to be, I pushed the wheel up against the wall so I'd have a level surface to measure from and then I just measured the same distance on each side and made a mark where I wanted the shelves to go. Using those marks that I made on my wheel, I placed the board that I wanted to be my shelf, lined it up with my marks, and then I'm just going to take a pencil and run it along the edge of the wheel and trace a mark onto the shelf, which I'll use as a guide for cutting an angle. Read that process for both of the shelf. I really tried to love the rustic aged patina that was on the wheel, but it just didn't go with our, the style of my house. So here I'm spraying it with a stain blocking primer, and then I went ahead and spray painted it black. While I waited for the wheel to dry, I sanded down my shelf boards quickly and then gave them a stain so that they would have kind of a contrasting effect with the black of the wheel. Once you get your shelves in place, use a measuring tape to make sure that they're evenly spaced. I applied E6000 glue to the ends of my shelves to adhere them to the metal part of the wheel. And this has worked really good. This glue is super strong if they're not wobbly at all. To keep the shelves in place, I just measured the distance in between and then cut two scrap pieces of wood and kind of wedged them in there. And this holds the shelves really tightly against the wood, against the wheel as they dry. Since my wheel weighs about 60 pounds, I made sure to locate a, a stud in the wall to hang it from. Then I ran to our local hardware store and grabbed this five inch lag bolt to drive into the stud and hang the wheel from. Of 
Once I had my bolts in, I was ready to hang my shelf up. It was a pretty easy project and I like the way it turned out. I'm planning to do kind of a living wall here as I collect plants. The shelf is a decent size for putting plants on or pictures and it's great for our narrow entry. Showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine and bright.